This week on Waste Not Wednesday, we did a homestead chicken coop. Obviously didn't get it finished, so we're gonna include clips from how we started the chicken coop and show you how we get it finished up and painted. So while we're doing this, we're gonna be using pallets and as much salvage as we can from leftover materials from our farmhouse addition and renovation. And two of my antique windows from my hoarding collection. All right, fast pallet breakdown. What you need is a sawzall, 12 inch bimetal blade, and then just start cutting. This is where the long blade comes in handy. In a previous video, we got started putting the frame of this chicken coop together and putting the sides on with the pallet wood. And I'm just gonna continue that on. I'm just laying them on here like shingles. I'm gonna be walking with my dad today and I have little nail pouts. Can you hold this side? Can you reach up that high? Okay, you got it? Yeah. Got, your, got your PPE on? What's PPE? It's gear. For what? Con for construction. For safety, huh? Yes, for safety. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good with that. All right, so before we get too much farther, before we get too much farther, I'm gonna put the floor in here. You could just keep going with slats from the pallets. I'm gonna use a piece of fiberboard that I have left over from working on the house here. All right, Jack, remember 37 inches. Yes. That's 37 inches. Oh man, we built it square. It's 37 inches on both sides. Aww. How long does it need to be? Let's say 43 and a half. So 37 inches by 43 and a half. And we'll make little cutout notches right here so it sits in there nice and flush, okay? I'm trying to use up as much scrap as I can from the pallets. This is just one of the support braces. I don't want this to be so attached that I can't get it off later, so I'm just gonna use these small nails. That way, if it gets gross in here, I can just replace the board really easily. All right, I'm gonna fit this window on next before I add the siding over here so I know how much room I need for the door to swing. Well, looks like I bought the wrong style hinges, but I'm gonna make them work. These will do for a chicken coop. It's just got to hold the door on and open. Hey Dad, I climbed into the chicken coop. Yeah, you did. <laughs> All right, so I've got these bolts. They're hanging out too far. So you just get a little wiggle here. It snaps them off flush. I like to do this with drawer pulls too. That way I don't have bolts hanging way out into my drawers when I'm putting new pulls on a dresser. Do you have a special screw pouch and a nail pouch? Yeah. The screws are in the front pouch, I think. Hey, hey, that's what we need. Okay, get another one. I'm gonna be using shellac, just putting on a coat to hopefully control some of the water stains and bleed through, then we'll get it painted. This is just wood and you don't technically have to paint it. It's been outside, it's pallets. But we took a vote, everybody wants this to match our farmhouse and because the farmhouse is going black and white, so is the chicken house. We're using DIY paint and beadboard. It's all natural and it's safe enough that I can do it without wearing a mask and Jack can help too. Jack, you wanna grab a brush? Yeah. Okay, there's a brush over in that bag. Jack, what's your favorite part about painting? Uh, Why do you like to paint stuff? Uh, because it's fun. Because it's fun? Does it let you be a little bit creative? Yeah. How long have you been painting? All your life? No. No? How old were you think when you first Five. started? 
five. No, you painted no, four, before. Four. four. I think you probably painted first when you were like three. Yeah. Maybe two. But Not two. Don't flip paint on me though. We've got these old apple crates and I think we'll just stack them right there like that as nesting boxes. If you guys want to buy your own crates like this, we have a bunch extra and I'll have them listed at jamierayvintagehome.com for $24.95. Jack piddled out on me. You know, the kids always say they want to paint and they get two boards in and there's <laughs> mom. It's kind of like when they say, buy me a dog, I'll take care of it. We all know who takes care of that dog. All right, Jack, hit these in. I need them flush. chicken are you a chicken bah, bah. just climbed right on up in there didn't you yeah tell me about that precision painting you're doing right there <laughs> let me tell you how not precise it is farmhouse front door is all glass and has a black frame so this is getting painted to match that's a cool contraption I think this is going to work better than our last one. This is where I would normally have implemented a plan and some sort of instructions in the build, but at this point, I'm just winging it and throwing this roof on as best I can. I like spray paint that says any angle, any surface, because I spray at any angle, I feel like. I'm using this special self-tapping screw and it's got a rubber grommet. This isn't designed for standing seam roof. They have a whole different system on how they're attached, but I'm gonna use it on these because I couldn't find corrugated tin at the hardware store this morning. They were sold out. So we're using the standing seam, which is fine because it'll match. This will be plenty fine for a chicken coop. So what I thought was gonna be a quick little chicken coop project has turned into two days. We always have good intentions. We're like, oh, let's use these scrap pallets and we'll take them apart and build a house for the chickens out of them. It's all done now. We're just over about $100 in extra products. We used a ton of scrap plus a few windows that we had lying around and it's gonna match our farmhouse, which I love. So it's not quite finished yet. I might eventually put some more stuff along the top here so that it matches on the siding. And then on the bottom, we're going to have chicken wire and that's where the run will come out of on the bottom. And then once they're big enough, we'll cut a hole in the floor so they can walk up and down that. 
Make sure you guys are hitting up jamierayvintage.com if you want to use a little black dress or beadboard to match our chicken coop. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.